that we are God's creation. We are, the we are God's God. creation. I agree with that. But and in here on this earth, there is no higher creation. On this earth, God made us the shepherds, made us the masters of that. But this system is seeking to take that mastery away from people so that we are no longer masters. I agree. Of our so look, look, look. I do no agree with you. Of, uh, our own creation. I do agree with you. They try to control sovereignty. what's happening now, especially in, in science. Science has been used to try to control people's observation about the universe. Even though clearly you can see the universe is organized, programmed, created, yet beautifully, well designed. But yet scientists try to manipulate that by taking people away from that, which we can observe clearly. However, what I would say to you, that when you believe in God and the creator of everything, we have to worship that creator. We have to be grateful to him. For what it has given us. Do you remember the yeah. eyes I gave you the I example? Scientists off the hook though. Yeah, See, yeah. The scientists would have us believe, and I used to believe that I evolved. No, 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 this is nonsense. No, no, this is all nonsense. And I know you. Yeah, yeah, no, that. I don't believe that. You know that. that. They, they, they're from monkeys. We're yeah. not from monkeys. No, no, no. Uh, because God never intended that. God intended for you to be created great like, perfectly. Like, just, like a human being, no doubt about that. No that's doubt. No, not to wait a million years, let the dinosaurs go away. That's a nonsense. No, 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 no. That's a nonsense. That's nonsense. Not, not, not with the Big Bang. Yeah, nonsense. But with the Big Bang. I don't accept Big Bang. Okay, so Big Bang I don't accept it. belongs to the globe. You yeah. see, if you deny the Big Bang, you have to deny the globe because the globe comes from Big Bang. No, 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 you can't connect the two. Why are you saying the globe means the Earth is uh, round? Yeah, it's coming. No, I, I, there's no connection. See, so what there's God no connection there. I, I agree that atheism is connected to Big Bang. Yes. And Darwin evolution is connected to that. But so much I of agree. My religion before I came from Christian, right? I came yeah. from a Christian religion, and, and they were okay with Darwin. They were okay with, with Darwin evolution. Truly, they yeah, were yeah. Okay some of them they try to justify it. They were okay with that. Uh, I could never understand why you would be okay with that because yeah. God says clearly I created, created you man in my image. Ah, created man. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, no, no doubt. Created no Adam. Yeah. No mistakes. Yes, no perfect. doubt. Perfect. Man 100%. is now interfered and yeah. starting to chemical and mess with that Christ and mess with the mind and say to people, you know, you are not the intent. Of the yes, that's true. They try to even. So yeah, that's true. And so, what I say is, ask yourself this question, brothers and sisters: Is there any fruit in God's creation? No, there is not. Is there any fruit in this creation? A fruit or fruit? Fruit, fruit, fruit like an apple. Ah, fruit. Ah, okay. So that's it's a fruit. Is there any fruit? So there's mistakes. That has no skin. There is fruit. Yeah. What? No skin. Without skin, there are some of them. No fruit. No. Ah, uh, without every, skin, you say. Everything. Every, uh, every seed has, has a skin. nut. Ah, okay. Every tree has a bark. Every man has a skin. Yes, okay. Yes. Every fruit has a skin, a peel. So, but yes. sorry to cut you there. The, the, the point, the, the is, point is, is that God, Allah, is showing us His creation through these devices. Of course, as a yes. science, we believe that. So, we call it Arabic okay. ayat, science, so, and, and, and uh, to show okay. the, the, the perfection of okay. the Creator. So, in ancient cultures, what they said was, we live inside a fruit. We live inside an orange. And in an orange, must have a skin. It must have a root, rakia. Yeah. Like you say, the tent that God spread out, the rakia is the root. It must, if I Yeah, we believe the there's a roof, we believe that. There must be a roof. It means that we cannot take the sky, water. the sky, yeah, the skies. No, no. It must be a hard roof. A roof over the, the earth, the orange, you're talking about. Yes. Because yeah. if the orange is peeled, the fruit it dries out. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, just now, one, if one you thing. peel this roof of our, our earth, the atmosphere would go away, like if I punctured a deodorant can, the atmosphere would go what away. Say, what would say, what would say, what would say, yeah, so it must be enclosed in its skin. Uh, no, no, what would say, what would say, that, that is a wrong analogy, to be honest, because why? Doesn't mean because there's a creation of God has a skin, so every creation of God has to have something is like a skin. One? No, what one can thing? You one give thing? Me one? We have to give me. No, 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 no. You cannot use ignorance as a proof. Doesn't mean because we don't know everything about God's creation. Mm. There's certain creation that God created, yeah. we don't yeah. know about. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah, but then that's yeah, why so we're no, saying. Well, uh, no, 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 hear me out. No, no, hear me out. No, no, hear me out. There's no place where water no, will not fall off. No, hear me out. Hear me out. No, hear me out. No, no, hear me out. God is able to do all things. Like what you have to understand. Like I have people from from my, like that I I I, 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 I cooperate with, uh, they do believe the earth is flat. Yes, uh, but me, I'm not really that sure. I'm not really. I, I, I don't have enough proofs. I read the Bible. But listen, listen, listen. You have to let me finish. Let me finish. No, this is about the Bible. But you have to let me finish. The Bible says the earth is unmoving. I don't know about the Quran. Yeah, no, no. I don't believe the earth moves. The earth doesn't move. Yeah, the earth is not moving. I believe the sun moves. Okay. Yeah, I exactly. agree. You have so no doubt about that. You're almost a flat earther. Because no, no, I'm not flat earther. Yeah. No, no, I'm not flat earther. No, no, I'm not flat earther. No, no, I'm not flat earther. No, no, you have to be just. Look, look. You cannot, you cannot be from one extreme of one side. You go to extreme of the other side. It doesn't mean because I agree with some aspects. Yeah. Of your belief, yeah, therefore yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But my point here is that you, as yourself, you as a person, 
Are you being grateful and showing the appreciation to the creator? Are you doing that? I'll t okay, to answer your question, yeah. I'll say this. I came to Speaker's Corner once before 2018, only to walk through. But by 2018, I found this truth and I was compelled to come and speak for God. To, to come and say, this is the truth we've all been lied to. I'm not selling any religion or any belief. You're not answering I'm my question. That the water is level. But you're not answering my question, I have respect. My, my, my question was, are you showing gratefulness yes. and appreciation yes. and worship to your creator? Yes. Are you doing that? I honor my creator. I remember I'm 54 years old. You look very young, man. Exactly. How yes. am I? Because I know this is the temple of God. And no, but, I honor no, God. You're not asking my question. Care of my temple, you're not asking my question. Are you do? doing that? Are yes. you, because I stopped the pornography. Yeah, yeah no, 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 forget about that. That's good. I, I, I stopped so many things. I do not touch the alcohol. But if you're doing that, how do you know that is the correct way? Huh? How do you know the way you are appreciating God, worshiping Him is the correct way? Does feel right. I mean, it does no, but feels right, right is not. It's not really a justification. Did not God write the truth on our hearts? Yeah. No, 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 like that, no, like that. No, no, no. no. Is this yeah, not the bit, temple yeah. of God? God yeah, because here yeah, inside yeah, of me, when I've got my senses back, remember, if they lied to us got, when we were children, you know, they traumatized uh, us, my yeah. brother. They traumatized us by lying but, uh, but you have to understand, what I'm saying to you, the sense. Christian man, he tells you, and the Jewish man, will tell you something feel right. Feeling something right doesn't mean all the time it's right. My point here is that you and I, we just agree that the, you can see the wisdom of the Creator. You can see the glorification of the Creator. Therefore, logically speaking, the all-wise creator, the most wise creator, will not, will not create the creation without any purpose and wisdom. Yeah. Therefore, there is a wisdom yeah. behind it. Yes. And logically speaking, the logically speaking, yeah. the one who knows the wisdom behind it, he's the one who created it. That's why based upon his wisdom and his mercy and justice, yeah. he sent the prophet and the messengers yeah. to teach us about our worship, yeah. how to worship the creator himself. Yeah. When the creator did that, he chose like Moses before that, Abraham, yeah. Noah, yeah. Jacob, Isaac, uh, uh, the last of them is the Prophet Muhammad. So when you see Prophet Muhammad, when you Prophet Muhammad's teaching, is a perfect way how to worship the Creator. So you need a guide that how to worship the Creator. You cannot, yes, generally speaking, we have something called Al Fitra, which is natural inclination. Naturally, I know if someone saved me from a fire, I would, I would be very grateful to him. No doubt about that. We know that naturally. Naturally, I know I should be very respectful to my mother and my father. I know that, no doubt about that. However, I need a guideline and a method to do it. Therefore, the guideline has to come from the Creator with the objective criteria. Something is outside that we can observe and analyze. When you come to Prophet Muhammad, you look to his teaching. Like, for example, you're talking about. Whoa, 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 the... too long, too long. Go I want to ask you a question. Go on. Did but Prophet what do you think I said? What do you think I said? I think it's awesome. Makes sense? I, I agree with what you said. Alhamdulillah, okay. But did Prophet Muhammad think he lived on the globe? The Prophet Muhammad, not really sure, no. because the Quranic no. verses. Because the globe. No, no, like I said, there's no clear yeah. verse. But brother you know, asked me. No, but you know, the globe is less than. Brother, you focus more on the globe than the God himself. No, 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 because. You are like that, brother. Do not lies matter. No, no, but brother, the globe, if the earth is globe, globe or flat yeah, or one yeah, bedroom house, yeah. that will not change the reality. Imagine, okay, I'll make it clear to you, brother. Yeah. Imagine I believe the earth is flat. However, I don't worship the Creator. That will not benefit me from the Creator, bro. Because why? It's like someone saying to his mom, I agree that that's your house, but I'm not going to be good to you. That's what I say, help you. Remember, you understand? So maybe you're not. I mean, no, 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 to worship God alone. Yes. Did do you do that? No, but do you do and that? No, no, before that, before Sorry, that. What was the question? My question, logically speaking now, if you do accept Muhammad is a true prophet, alayhi salatu yes. now we know the all-wise creator, the greatest creator, the most high, Allah, will not choose a liar to convey his message. He will choose the most truthful person to convey his message, yes. logically speaking. Therefore, logic dictates that you should believe what he came with because he's a messenger of the Most High, the creator of everything. So, you, logically speaking now, you should become a Muslim and follow his teaching. <laughs> if you accept the Prophet, otherwise you'll be contradicting yeah, yourself. But, but Muhammad wasn't a Muslim, right? He was a Muslim. He said, I'm a Muslim. He said, I'm a Muslim. Allah said in the Quran, Huwa alladhi sammakum al muslimin It's Allah who called you a Muslim. So that's why you have to be a Muslim, you yeah. know, to worship the Creator. Because yeah. I know you come in close. I agree with a lot of things you say. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But what I'm saying to you, that focusing too much in this matter, that sometimes it's good, but in a way there's something greater than that. 
There's priority. Priority is my creator. What does he want from me? I want to worship him. Worship him the way he wants. That's what Allah said. Fastaqim kama umirta. Worship your creator the way you've been commanded, not the way you feel like it. Because the way you've been commanded, you have a criteria. So you're very close to Islam. Literally, you're, you're a Muslim, not yeah. Muslim. I don't say you're a Muslim, Muslim. I, uh, but you have to say Shahada to Iraqi, become Muslim. I had Iraqi <laughs> refugees live with me in 93 in Cape Town. They'd gone away from the first, Are you from uh, Australia, Cape Town? South Africa, yeah. yeah. South, uh, yeah. South Africa, sorry. Yeah. So, I, I'm, you know, I, they gave me a dish dasha, what they call it, this, this thing. They gave me this, uh, you know. Uh, the, the dasha, yeah. The dasha. yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. You know, uh, they, Bismillah, we would say, and uh, all this stuff. But so, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm down with Where's you guys. Where's my Quran? Where's my Quran? The brother had my Quran. But I, yeah, but I down. think that if, I think that if the, if the, we've been deceived about our true essence, uh, our true connection to Allah. I agree. I, I, I agree. Like I agree. Christi I'll give you the example yeah. of Christianity. What they do is they put Christianity corrupted. Forget between, Christianity. But I, they put someone in between. Now, I, now I'm talking about Christianity. I know that there's lots of good men who, who speak for Christianity, but they believe it truly. Yeah, but you, can, you can, right. but you can't, but you can't, but they given sorry, wrong information. You, yeah. No, but the so source itself is corrupted. You can't look, sorry, what I'm saying. The source itself is corrupted. You can be a good person if you're, you can be a good person in a way, but I'm saying if the source is corrupted, yeah. you, sorry, you can't utilize it. You cannot utilize it. One of our scholars, what you said about we've been deceived. Yeah. And our scholar, Ibn Taymiyyah, he lived in the 7th century. He said, anyone that control your observation yeah. about the creation yeah. can control your worship of your creator. You. That's even Utami you mentioned so if that. I can control what you think you live on, uh, uh, that's can it. I connect, you can manipulate me. Yeah, my, my, yes, that's true. I, I agree with that 100%. When I was six years old, yes. they said you're spinning, but you can't feel it. You're ah, moving, this is nonsense. But you can't feel it. Yeah, spinning. The sun is still there, but I'm spinning. It's a nonsense. I don't accept that. As a Muslim, they do believe that. They say, even the Quran said the sun rotates. They say, no, the earth is still and the sun rotates. That's what I believe. And I'm proud of that. I don't believe these scientists are liars. A lot of them are liars. Yeah. No doubt about that. But that doesn't mean I accept the earth is flat or one bedroom house. Okay. You, know, uh, you, know, you know we can measure water always to be, when it's settled, always uh, to be leveled. And if I brought you four or five boxes of uh, bottles of water and I lined them all up, those bottles of water, the water would be horizontal yeah. and parallel to each other. And it should be my friend Wasim. It would be a very good parallel view. With each other. My friend is proper on it. When you come Our down the mountains, Wasim. the lake, the river comes down the mountain from God's rain. It comes down and in the lake it settles parallel. And the next one is horizontal and parallel. And then you get to the sea and there's one sea. It's the beauty of the creator. Parallel. So why don't you declare openly to be a Muslim? If you accept Prophet Muhammad as a true prophet. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because I do love, I do admire the Don't let these things stop you. Muslim men, I generally get on really well with. I think. I think Look, I me and you get on really, very well. Really? I have a, and I read, a, you gave me a book. Yeah, I yeah. I read most of it, not all of Which it. Which one I gave you? Uh, this is Islam. I, yeah, I, I forget this yeah. one now, the name. Yeah, I think this is so Islam. I've been homeless two years, so I've been on the road a long way, man. Many countries a long way. It's Serious. A long story. Another day. Traveling. Traveling, you know. Ibn Batota. You know Ibn Batota? What? Ibn Batota, he was a traveler from Morocco. He traveled around the world. Well, we need he, I need wife, his travel card. We've been traveling and we've been in different countries and we've seen a lot of things, but doing, talking to people about God, man. Yeah. Because for me, Flat Earth helped me realize that I am. Yeah, but where are the what's your name again? I forgot your Dave. name. Dave, what I'm saying. Trinity 4 on YouTube. Dave, 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 what we say to you? Trinity talking four. about God is good, but you have to talk about God based upon knowledge. Because one of the crimes against God, yeah. the worst crime yeah. against God, when we speak about Him without knowledge. Yeah. And that knowledge has to come from the Creator. And that knowledge which is kept pure yeah. without any. Inter intervention of any human being is that is which is in the Islamic legislation. You know, one of the miracles of the Quran that Allah mentioned the Quran, mm. we have made Quran easy to be memorized. Mm. That statement was 1400 years ago. No way that statement came from a man who knows about everything. It comes from the one who created everything. Mm. Now, if you go to Africa, come to Europe, Britain, America, Asia, Children, Muslim children at the age of 9, 10, 11, memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. What is very interesting and very amazing that even some Muslims don't know Arabic language, yet when they read the Quran, they read it perfectly. They pronounce it perfectly. Why? Because that speech is not speech of human being, it's speech of the creator of everything. So that is one of the miracles of the Quran that Allah made it easy. Same miracle is another miracle which Allah mentioned He will preserve the Quran. If the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Sikhs all of them decides yeah. to burn their scriptures yeah. 
the only scripture will remain with us and be protected and preserved is the Quran because the Muslims memorized it. We are, on, we are not in need yeah. to rely on a manuscript. You understand? Let me t tell you something. Sorry, Dave, for taking your time. Yeah? Right. You know what is about Islam? Prophet Muhammad, who existed 1,400 years ago, who couldn't read and write, yeah. he came with the legislation is a perfect way. He, listen, Islam came to preserve five things. And I'll let you speak. Just listen to this. Yeah? Five things. Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? Religion means Islam, paganism, polytheism is forbidden. Islam pays great attention to monotheism, to worship God alone. Because when you have no God in your life, you start following your desires. And the outcome of that we can see in our society. Men wake up if it's a woman, woman wake up if it's a man, someone wakes up if it's a dog, that one if it's a kongulu. You know, it's crazy. That's, that's the reality. You, lie. It's a, you know, so when you have, when you have no, it's our way. Thank you, Dave. When you have no God, that's the outcome of it. So Islam, because we know that Islamically, Allah knows that. So there's a barrier against that. That someone come to play around with Islam, coming in out, no, there's body and guess that secondly Islam came to preserve intellect that's why alcohol and drugs forbidden thirdly Islam came to preserve wealth that's why interest and gambling is forbidden Islam came to preserve marriage and lineage that's why fornication adultery is forbidden Islam came to preserve life that's why killing people unjustly is forbidden. These five things, the opposite of that, if we do not protect them and put barriers, we will destroy our societies. Alcohol, polytheism, drugs, gambling, interest, destroy societies, fornication, yeah. adultery. Yes, some people are making money out of that, yeah. of these vices, yeah? yeah? Of gambling, interest, interest to make the rich richer yeah. and the poor poorer, yeah? yeah? So that's why now you're gonna understand why there is a huge war against Islam yeah. from different parts of the world. Do you know why? Because those who are in power, they see Islam as a threat for their business because they know Islam is good for us individually and collectively. Came to protect us individually and collectively. But the evil ones who wanna make money from the suffering of the people, they don't like that because they are rich. What are they doing? They are utilizing their wealth to make Islam look bad through, through, through the media, even though I just have broken down for you how Islam is a perfect way of life. So how a man that couldn't read and write existed 1,400 years ago. He came with a perfect way of legislation, but we have these politicians who studied in the best universities around the world, yet they cannot resolve the problem because that man, he's a messenger of the Most High. Does it make sense? It makes sense, but I think that those people in government are intentionally misleading us. No doubt. So that we never Not all of them, but some of them, no doubt. That higher, and while they're uh, deceiving, purpose. they stop ready to become Muslim and try to turn you away from Islam. Because they know Islam is true. Christianity is gone. Judaism is a tribal god. That's why the only religion that is preventing this uh, crazy ideological ways upon mankind is Islam. That's why there's a huge war against Islam. So what I'm saying to you, Dave, I agree with a lot of things you're saying, but Dave, you have to step back as well. Yes, it's good to have the people, but first start with ourselves. What is my relationship with our creator? Like I mentioned, imagine, Dave, you're in the house. Imagine you go to wait today, you sleep in your room, you wake up, there's a fire everywhere. Everywhere there's a fire. And I came and I saved your life. You gave up. You couldn't save yourself. You tried your best, but you couldn't. You gave up. I saved you. What would you say to me at least? Would you thank me? You're going to remember me, bro. I saved your life. So why we are not grateful and remember who gave us a life for free? I've been two and a half years homeless without any income. I thank God every day. Alhamdulillah. But you need the correct way. I had to sleep outside one night in two and a half years. But you have, you have somewhere to stay now. More than 50 different you have somewhere to stay now. Right now, uh, Yep, I got a place to save. If you need help, we're here. Thank you, bro. No, seriously. No, I, I'm, I, Even if you're going to become Muslim, we'll help you. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Even though, yeah, yeah, yeah we don't, we don't, we don't help you. Like, yeah, we don't help you because you're not condition you're going to become Muslim. Yeah, no, even you're going to become Muslim. We are help you. So, Allah, you're know, very close I to think, Islam. I think, I think that. What Can someone world, give me a knife, man? Happens, Let's force him. You won't know this about me, but at 19 years old in 1987, <laughs> I went to war in you Angola. Uh, you told me that. Uh, you remember? Yeah, I remember. You said you were in the army. So, so I know that we're always being kept. It's not about. There was no Islamic thing there. It was just another capitalism, communism thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've had these world wars, and then the Islamic wars and so on. Yeah. I feel like there's a controlling hand that looks to keep all of us in a state of dis-ease, in a state of um, a just mistrust. Panicking, panicking, panicking. Keep yeah. you in borders, confusion. Segment countries up there where there's differences between the Sunni Shia and so not on. Not just that, Dave, Dave, not just that. that. Even the music, that's what you see there. Mm. That is one of the ways to keep us busy yeah. from the true yeah. meaning of purpose of life, entertainment. entertainment. And the Romans, hear me out, the Romans, sorry to cut you, Dave, the Romans, what they used to do the Romans? The Romans they used to do this type of entertainment to 
legislating new rules upon the people. So this entertainment, but look what they say. Why you are against entertainment is to make the people feel good. And when the people hear that, and you say no, be aware, they're gonna say no, you're against entertainment. No, no problem, be good, feel good, take your children, have a nice time with them, but there's some type of entertainment is turning you away from the most interested and the most obvious and the most important thing, to be grateful, to be the servant of the most high. Design is designed with that and the word entertainment is three words, enter, retain or tain, meant mind. So enter Allah. and hold your mind. That's uh, really what they're about. Yeah, you uh, have to be so, careful. So you're the, we, and, but the thing is, I'd say it like this, okay, so there's some sort of devil thing going on, right? There's some sort of dark agenda going on. No doubt. That puts the music into the children's yeah. minds. It alters the frequency of the music to 432, whatever, 440 hertz. So this is on purpose. Yeah. So I feel like, okay, that's bad, but maybe it's also a test. Is that we're told it that is a test. I'm going to offer you, you're going to go down there. But nothing, can, sorry Dave, nothing, nothing can save us, brother Dave. Dave, nothing can save us from that except by going back to Islam. Islam is a solution for mankind. Wallahi, look, these countries, not this country, not just Britain, around the world, the, we are in darkness. Do you know why? Because we turn away from the... But, uh, the Islamic legislation is a perfect way of life. Yeah. Islamic legislation, how man, like I said, a man by himself, he comes with the rules and the regulation and the law for econ economy, for the war, for peace, for this, for that. You know when you have a state, when you have a country, you need experts for different fields. Yeah. You, by yourself, you cannot have, you cannot know everything. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad, he built the best and the strongest civilization in the world. The Islamic civilization, I don't know if you study about Islamic civilization, Andalusia, you know, Baghdad, Dal Hikmah and so on. It was the best civilization. And what happened when the Christians came to our country, they took many our books, our works, and they stole them and they changed the names and they put names in English language for the people to not know. However, there's a commentary in, German, in Germany, they did it in, in, in Dutch language, but it's been translated showing how many books, how many discoveries that the Western world attributed themselves in the reality was invented by the Muslims in Andalusia. You understand? So my point here, forget all of this. The point here is focus on yourself. Am I worshiping my creator? That's what I will tell you. Inshallah. I have to go, Dave, inshallah. But hopefully I see you, man. You want to take my number, Dave? Yeah, one of the take my number. I'm going to get you to my friend to meet him. The app. Uh, Can I, I've got do the you have a number in it? I have a number there. Is, is your number? Yeah, just okay. through that website. I'm gonna meet you, you're going to meet my friend. He loves this fat F thing. <laughs> he awesome. wants me to believe in it as well. Awesome. Well, we know it because then once you look into that, you look into things like mud flood. Like we see these old buildings that are <laughs> two, three stories under the ground. And we built on London, we built on Liverpool, we built on all these cities where there's towns underneath the ground. So we wonder whether four or five hundred years ago there wasn't a Noah's flood type moment. Uh, but that's another Inshallah, but focus what I said, Inshallah. But you know, I will say to you, the you belief are. that you have in your heart is the belief of a Muslim. Yeah. Muhammad I, is a true prophet. Yeah, so I, why don't you declare it? Well, because it's about taking sides. I don't want to take sides. Take, no, 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 Dave, no, no. Taking sides as long as you take the side of people of truth. That's the reality of the dunya, it's the life. The life, either you're going to be with the people of truth yeah. or people of falsehood. Because imagine, I said, imagine Dave, yeah. I said to you, look, I don't want to take side about the issue of the earth. Yeah. You're going to tell me, no, you have to take the side yeah, yeah, as long as the side of the truth. I'm on the side of God. Which so is Islam. <laughs> yes, well, that's a reality. Well, I mean, some Cannot be Christianity. Some, some people would say it's an Abrahamic faith. Hey? Abrahamic like faith, he was a Muslim. Abraham was no Christian. But they don't cover all of God's creation. Like Islam covers Hindu everything. And all the others. Now, Hinduism is a made up thing. You know, it I mean, is, it I is. I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't know. Hinduism, no, Hinduism is not even a religion. It's not, Hinduism, yeah, it's you can't even chase it back. It's a joke. Yeah. It's not a joke, but it's a philosophical yeah. ideology. Yeah. You know, Buddhism, same Buddhism. thing. But we'll isolate yourself, leave the world. No. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad came. That's what I'm saying. The best, is, uh, if you want to be with God, is in Islam. I love the faithfulness of the Muslim man. I do. I, I, I admire You can't Muslim before it's too late, bro. We have to tell you well, that, Dave. Maybe in the fullness of time. Inshallah, man. Dave, look after yourself. Nice meeting you, bro. Hopefully, I see you again, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you.